Vandana, can you uh, please introduce yourself? Sure. Hi, Nikhil. I am Vandana. Uh, I am currently working as a senior architect with IBM. Apart from that, I am also leading, uh, I am co-lead for OWAS Bangalore and heading InfoSec Girls. Apart from that, there is a global women in AMSEC community by OWASP. So I am uh, leading from Asia and I am also on the board as a secretary. Oh, great. So uh, what generally uh, women face for getting into uh, information security? So uh, when we say information security, they perceive it as a 24 cross 7 job because information security you have to be on toes all the time. That's one aspect of it. And then uh, the proper guidance that's very important to be in information security. So which, uh, which they think that uh, people are not approachable, uh, but the way the communities are growing, so the women part is increasing more. The main challenge is uh, approachability, that little uh, less approachable than men. Men used to, they, if they want to talk to somebody, they'll just approach that person and talk. But women feel a uh, little hesita hesitant to talk to men or talk to women either. That's the face, the challenge that I can see. How do you help uh, the women uh, in security? Uh, I'm trying to, so what we did a uh, year and a half back, we started uh, uh, a YouTube channel wherein we, we actually asked the global leaders and especially one person has to be there on those tech talks. So we started tech talks basically as part of InfoSec Girls. Uh, apart from that, we go to conferences and colleges to provide training, especially for women as part of InfoSec Girls and Women in AppSec. Um, as I lead co-lead uh, co Bangalore chapter as well, that's, that helps me more to reach the global audiences. So I have uh, given sessions for St. Cloud Minnesota University. Then uh, there is a Cairo University in Egypt. So the session was specifically for the women uh, because they were preparing for a CTF worldwide and we gave a session on web app pen testing. And for Indian women, uh, uh, there are different chapters associated and uh, through InfoSec Girls, we are trying to uh, help them virtually through mentorship program and uh, the leaders which are there in India, not just women but men, we are trying to collaborate with them, ask them if they can guide the women. Uh, as they feel uh, intimidated sometimes, if there are like uh, 100 men and there is one woman, they don't feel sometimes comfortable. I'm just trying to make them comfortable when they know the chapter leaders or the project leaders. They just feel comfortable. Yes, I know at least one person in the room. Even if there are 100 men, I'll be comfortable. It's not because of men. Trust me, the, it's the culture that we have got since ages. So that's growing. So just want to make sure that they are comfortable. And even parents are getting very comfortable. Yes, there is someone who's supporting them. And... Uh, when we say Narcon or OWASP Seaside, there are a lot of women who we sponsored to come here. And we convince their parents, yes, we are here to help them out and they are sound and safe. Good. At least at the conference value, there will not, there will not be any misbehave. Good, good. So, uh, what is your role in OWASP Seaside? So, I am one of the co-founders for OWASP Seaside. And uh, just wanted to make, we just wanted to make sure that we have something uh, for the people to take on. Uh, so the crowd that we have seen, it's huge. Like we were expecting 150 people and now it's 350 people. So uh, just when we thought of doing seasides, we were just thinking that we'll try free trainings for uh, students and a few of the researchers. But then it went on and on and on and now we have like huge conference just ended today. And what is uh, your uh, idea and uh, motivation behind it? So the idea is community. That's the true fact that people around me motivate me so much, support me, that it lets me do more. And uh, anytime I face any issues, I just reach out to my mentors, the unsaid mentors. They never said that I'll be your mentor or I never asked. It's just that whenever I need an advice, I just call them up and they tell me that you could do this way. They don't tell me that what I should do, but they let me think what I can do best and help the community. What suggestion you give uh, who wants to start in information security? So uh, I would say start reading about uh, what information security is all about. Everything is on uh, the blogs, communities and uh, uh, the researchers have posted their research. Start reading about that and be a part of the community. If you seek any help, reach out to us. We all are there to support you. 
feel free to drop a note. We all are available on social media, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Um, that's the best way to start off because when we started our career, we had no idea what information security is all about, whether there is any community or not, or whom to reach out to seek advice on that. Now, the resources are available, the sites are there, even uh, when you have to read something, you just Google it and you get the information. So I think that's, be part of the community and seek advice from the seniors. And how do you keep yourself uh, updated about information security? Uh, I read a lot of blogs. I read uh, uh, the, hack, uh, the hacking news sites. Uh, what's happening in the industry, if there is a new vulnerability, or if there is a zero day, which is, I just try to read about it. And the habit that I have is that I, I have a laptop, which I've screwed up, but I just keep experimenting on it. If there's a new vulnerability, I just try and replicate the same on my system, on a VM, to see how it works. That, uh, that way, I understand how it's going to replicate exactly in the production. That's what I would do. Okay. So how do you manage your personal life, job, and these conferences? That's a tricky question. <laughs> so I have a three-year-old son, um, and I have a support from family and community. So whenever I am an office, to be honest, whenever I have to go for a conference, I let my boss know in advance that I have to travel, and I try and balance out my work and my office. And same way, I keep my family posted that yes, this time I have to travel. It's just that. Thank you so much. Thank you.